most of the time. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Well, as many of you know from watching us and watching us online, that ever since the Adirondack Civic Center Coalition took over the Glens Falls Civic Center, a lot has been going on. And uh, we called Dan Burke, who's the uh, president of the coalition, and we've asked Dan to come in time to time when we sense that there's an awful lot going on that we want, to, want you to know about. So welcome back, Dan. Thank you. Glad to be here. Yeah, it's great to have you here. Uh, I've got a couple of things on my agenda here. Okay. I think uh, foremost is we've been reporting about this buy a seat campaign. Mm -hmm. Very creative, very unusual. And uh, tell us a bit about that. Yeah, um, like everything else for the Civic Center, you know, it's all about uh, the money at first. We need to get this place financially in a good place. So uh, one of the things that we decided to do is to uh, go out and have people name seats, put your name on a seat, whether it's your company's name, your grandkids' names, a name. Mm. Uh, part of it, it's just fundraising, but uh, we have 4,700 seats that we could sell. We hope to sell around 1,000 of them between now and a very short time frame. But it's our attempt to, again, uh, get everybody involved in the Civic Center. There's people that have donated a lot of money, and not everybody's able to do that. So what we were asking people to do is you want to put your name in there, you want to feel good about the fact that you're part of the, uh, the coalition, if you will, uh, put your name on the seat. That's okay. what we're asking people to do. I got, how long does the name stay on the seat? Uh, well, uh, there's two, two, uh, two milestones, if you will. Uh, sure. Ten years, okay. or if the seats get replaced before then. My guess is right. it'll be 10 years. Yes, yeah, so I got it. Um, <laughs> actually, they did an upgrade not too long ago with seats, didn't I they? I want to say it was four or five years ago, yes. yes right, uh, they got ahead. money through uh, Senator Little in the state, uh -huh. and uh, the seats are in great shape. They're, all, they're like brand new. Yeah, they are. And uh, let's face it, there's a lot of hockey in that ring, so those seats get to stand up to hockey. That's better than heavy metal rock, you know. <laughs> it is, but uh, we've got that coming too, by the way. Yes, I know. I bet you do. <laughs> um, the uh, other big news, uh, new general manager. Yeah, a gentleman by the name of Jeff Mead. Uh, he's a Glens Falls native. Mm -hmm. the, his quick resume is, is that uh, he grew up in Glens Falls and went to Glens Falls High School, played hockey for him in some very successful teams, uh, went to Oswego State, SUNY Oswego, mm -hmm. and between his hockey connections, uh, he made uh, a career in the uh, ice arena management uh, profession, mm -hmm. and he has moved throughout the United States, mostly the Midwest, and then he finally ended up in a, uh, the last stop was in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Mm -hmm. uh, he's married with a couple of uh, young children, wanted to come closer to family, and this was an opportunity in his profession, and he's well qualified. We're, we're glad he's here. I think that you scored big time with that. Thank you. It, uh, he and I exchanged emails. I welcomed, welcomed him to the community, and he gave me a quick little bio, yeah. and this man is happy to be home. He is happy to be home. You know, and that's nice. Yeah, uh, I don't know if he was selling or not, but during the interview process, he talked about how his parents are already making plans for Sunday dinner and Monday dinner and Thursday dinner and all that. <laughs> so it was fun to, 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 to uh, hear that. You know, we all have got the kids, and it's nice to have, them come back, have an opportunity to come back if they want to come back, and this mm -hmm. was an opportunity for him. He's been up and running now for, this is his third week, I believe, and uh, I see a lot of good things, a lot of good things already. Boy, I think that's great. Uh, you know, Dan always talks about uh, fiscally responsible things, and that's because his day job, of course, is he's president of regional uh, NBT banks. So, I, you know, that sort of comes naturally to you, Dan, doesn't well, it? Well, it's forced upon you over the years. It becomes natural, <laughs> yeah. yes. Uh, we, haven't, we haven't learned that lesson here yet. I, I, I can't figure that part out. Uh, part of that is a lot of talk about maybe getting some uh, funding from the state. Yep. Uh, you're raising money this, uh, you know, buy a seat campaign. Right. Um, is important toward that, toward that goal. But you sort of set some priorities and things yep. that short term that you want to do to upgrade the Civic Center. Yeah, we have. Um, you know, the partnership and, uh, that we have made with a lot of uh, folks, including uh, the government municipalities, City of Glens Falls was given a grant through the uh, regional councils for $675,000 mm -hmm. uh, about a year and a half ago uh, for the Civic Center. So they have given us the lead on that. We're, we're there. We basically have got most of the paperwork done. We're, we're looking for one last piece of paper to be signed by the state. Great. And we have our plans are that there's four, four items, if you will, four titles for that money. One of them is the, uh, a new billboard uh, sign. Oh, the Marquee out front. Marquee out front. Right, that, that'll right. be the first thing we're going to do. We're Not already, bad. No, it's dated, and you know we were kidding each other before the interview. We're down to about 50% of the light bulbs working on the old <laughs> one, so uh, time is of the essence. Uh, we've got the bids on that. We think we've got some uh, uh, good, good, solid bids and some nice product that's going to come our way. The other thing is the lighting inside uh, the arena, mm. over the ice, and then around the seats. Uh, that needs to be upgraded. Oh, well, nice improvement. Yeah, a couple of things there. One is it's got to be a little bit brighter, which I didn't mm -hmm. think so, but that's the way the standards are for the league. 
And also the uh, energy efficiency. You know, it's time to uh, take advantage of those the new technologies. Right. The other thing is the sound system. You know, uh, some of us think it's very loud there, but some people don't hear everything because the sound system's not quite configured the way that it could be or mm -hmm. we'd like it to be. So we've had an audit on that. We're out looking for bids on that. Mm -hmm. And the last thing is Wi-Fi. There's certain parts of the building where you just can't get connections. And uh, in right. this day and age, it just doesn't work. And Wi-Fi has other, other, other than just get you connected to your uh, personal friends and business. It's also important for us to be able to service the customers like that, whether you're ordering food, right. you want more tickets, you know, all that kind of stuff is things that the building needs, and I think this grant will help us get there. Well, you're really on it. You know, I want to cycle back just for a second on the sound system. You know, finding, because that's not necessarily always a question of volume. That could be acoustics and be all yep. kinds of things. And a building like that is not easy. No, and I, I won't pretend to know much more than anybody else, but yeah. I've been in some of the meetings, and we had a firm come in and do an audit, and they, they uh, were fairly complimentary, saying the system is not bad, but yes, there are holes in the system, if you will, or there's yes, upgrades right. that we need. So they have recommended them to us. Now we're going to go out and find out how much that will cost and make sure that we can afford it within the context of that uh, a grant that we're getting. Well, you're very aggressive about this. You know, you've taken like four steps and then one back when something like the <laughs> roof happens, right? Yeah. You know, the, you don't the facade. That. The yes. facade. Although the good news is, is that uh, they're almost done. Uh, yeah. The contract was awarded two or three weeks ago, and uh, Roselle Industries uh, is out there. And uh, they look like they're getting towards the top and getting it done. And the good news, too, is that, you know, that's 32 years of, of Mother Nature having some, uh, right. some say on the, on the facade of the building. Right. They're reinforcing it in places where it wasn't reinforced before, or they're, they're reinforcing it more so than it was before, ob mm -hmm. for obvious reasons. So, yeah, good things going. But you're right. A building falling down was not what we had planned that one day. <laughs> no, and it wasn't structural. Right, no, it correct. was just a facade, as just you were a facade, saying. Yeah, and I thought that was important because a lot of people were questioning that at the time. They were wondering. Yeah, you know, and everything's timing. Because, well, I'm not going to go in there, but I'm sure that that in that particular time we had the sectional and the high school basketball That's championships. Right. I'm sure most moms and dads didn't want to go in there nor let their children go in there. Yeah. So it was important for us to make that determination uh, correctly. And no, it was a facade. All that brick on the outside. Uh, the, underneath there is a beautiful, not so beautiful, cement cinder block building mm -hmm. that, that really was untouched by the, uh, the damage. Uh, you know, I can tell that you're getting too close to the, to the building because you called cement beautiful. I just want you to know that. Okay. <laughs> well, when it wasn't damaged, it was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> well, Dan, thank you. We're going to ask Dan to come in. Time to time, we just really want to stay abreast of all of the things that you do in there because, uh, like I said, you guys are very aggressive. You're really turning that building around, and what an asset to the community. Telling. That's why we did it. Uh, yeah. I could give you a long flowery speech, but you hit it right yeah. on the head. We got a lot of stuff going on, and uh, you know, here comes the hockey season before too long. I know on a beautiful August day, it's hard to think of that. But whether it's acts we're talking to, whether it's musicians or comedians or shows or wrestling and all that kind of stuff, the phone's ringing, and we're just making sure we get the acts in there. There are two things. One, that people will come and enjoy. And number two is that it makes financial sense for us to have it in there. Yeah, I got you. All right, we're going to end because I just want to go back to this buy a seat. By the end of August, 30 days away, we're going to try to sell 1,000 seats. It's only 100 bucks a seat, and you get that nameplate on. And you made another, you've said it quickly, and I just want to go back. You're a grandparent or something. Put your grandchildren's name yeah, on it. You know, sure. put your company name on it or whatever. And I think we're about 250 in, so it's likely you're going to hit this 1,000. We're trying. We're right? try and they it. can contact you and find out how to. Absolutely. Or get on the website for the uh, Civic Center, and there's a link there. Great. Dan, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. We'll see you soon. I appreciate it. You're welcome. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.